Hey guys, here's the complete review of the 14th episode of Mouse. This episode ends with a shocking revelation, so make sure to watch this till the end. Honjo goes back to the prison with the hope of interviewing Jay Sheik again because it is the day he's getting released. She calls Bahram and asks for Don Cook's number. She meets him on his way out of the prison and offers him a ride on fearing Honjo might get into trouble. Bahram follows them while they are driving. Honjo offers him an apple and tells him she knows he's the serial killer. So he kidnaps Honjo and as he prepares to kill her, Bahram arrives. Before he kills him, Bahram records him confessing to his crimes and send it to the broadcasting station. Moshi arrives and see Hongju tied up but unable to catch Bahram. After recognizing Bahram, Bong Yi flashed the flash drive. She goes to meet him but Bahram walks away saying he's not the person she thinks he is. Bong Cheol's name gets cleared and he gets released to attend his daughter's wedding. Bahram's aunt visits him to tell she'll be moving to US because her husband got a job there. Bahram asks her to take the kittens because her son seems to love them. Moshi finds Bong Yi in front of the police station. She asks Bahram for a meetup but he turns her down coldly. Mochi asks him why he is rejecting Bong Yi and tells him not to do something he regrets like he did. So Bahram decides to give the relationship a go, thinking it will help him to get to his old self as well. A kid from an elementary school calling himself Detective Konam requests to meet up with Hongju's team. Because everyone rejects, Bong Yi meets with him. He tells her a friend of him is getting bullied because everyone thinks her grandmother, who is suffering from dementia, goes around killing cats. But he managed to find the real culprit. As they talk, he sees Bong Yi's necklace and Bong Yi tells him that the person she loves made it for her. When Bara comes in, he leaves as in fear. Konam asks Bong Yi to meet her the next day. But before Bong Yi, Bahram goes to the school and Konam runs away. Bong Yi finds Konam burned in acid and Bahram sees both Bong Yi and Kim Ban Trey, the school meat supplier, carrying Konam to the hospital. Mochi assumes that it was not an accident but an attempt to murder the child. Bahram finds some keys in the room. The grandmother comes and grabs it from him. Mochi goes to meet with Kim Ban Trey. He tells Mochi that he heard a child screaming but when Mochi checks Konam's report, the doctor tells him there are burns even in the throat, so he wouldn't be able to scream. The grandmother comes to him asking for meat. He gets disgust for selling him off to the police. When she opens her lunchbox, he sees the keys and take it from her, giving her a devilish smile. Bahram goes into his shop as a customer. He sneaks into his house, but Bante gets home before he could leave. Bahram sees him hiding the keys the grandmother grabbed from him. The key opens a musical box and in it he sees photos of Bante and his friend torturing animals and a child. We see Bante is the one who has attacked Kona. Since Bongi saw Kona, Bante got no choice but to help him. Baram hangs Bante in a meat freezer and burns him in acid. But the time Mochi gets to Bante, he is already dead. Instead of killing Bante's friend, Baram corners him so he gets caught by the police. Bahram realizes that his instinct to kill is fading, so he tells Bong Yi to wait for him until he gets completely cured. Bahram and Bong Yi then share a kiss. Mochi goes to Bahram's house and the two have a drink. While they are talking, Bahram tells him that Move On also had the necklace like that of Mochi, which puzzles him. Mochi sleeps at Bahram's house. When he goes to the bathroom, he falls over a cupboard. The next morning, Mochi goes through the evidence to look for the necklace Bahram told him about. He noticed that one of the knives have a new blood stain. He runs a DNA test and finds out the blood belongs to Kang Dok Su. Bahram finds Mochi's necklace hanging by the cupboard. He takes it to return to Mochi. On seeing Mochi's already have a necklace, he starts to remember flashes. He goes back home and searches the cupboard to find Bong Yi's grandmother's pin as well. Bahram then goes to his old house to check the place. He finds the hideout and in it all the crimes and the studies he has done. So, in the end of this episode, it shows that it was Bahram who was the actual killer and not Yu Han. Bahram gets a call from Dong Kook saying Chi Kook woke up. That's the end of this episode guys, make sure to check the next. Thanks for watching and see you again.